Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about the new updates in Java coming for string. That's right. So basically in Java we have different data types, right? So we have primitive types which we talk, which we work with, let's say int, float, double, uh, boolean and apart from that we also have one more type which we use a lot which is a string type. Now string is not primitive, it's basically a class in Java but we use string a lot, right? Now when it comes to string, there are certain things which we love about string. You can simply create a string object by specifying specifying a text and you're done, right? You don't have to create a new string object. Now we love that thing about string, but then there are certain things in string which we don't like, okay? We try to adjust because of course, when you love a language like Java, there are certain things in Java which we, which we ignore because of course, every good language will have some drawbacks. And that was a thing with string as well. So we'll talk about two things which we got updates. Uh, in fact, in Java 15, uh, we got this standard version of text block. So let's say if you have a string of multi-line, now you can do it easily. And in 21, which is yet to be released, uh, we have the early access for it. But in 21, you will get a standard feature, which is a string template. So this will make the Java programmer's life a bit easy in terms of string. Okay. So let's talk about text block first, and then we'll move towards string template. Now, what is text block? So to understand that, let's head back to our thing. Uh, we have our uh, Visual Studio. See, for the entire video, if you want to practice, if you want to practice all the codes, you have to make sure that you have Java 15 for text block and Java 21 for string template. Now in 21, of course, both will work. So make sure that you have 21 access. Now, how will you get 21? It's very simple. You can download the 21th version from here. So if you can see, this is a website, which is jdk.java.net slash 21. This is where you can get the download. Now, based on which OS you're using, uh, so for this particular example, I'm using Windows. So we have Windows option here. You can download the zip. So the only thing you have to do is in the environment variables, once you download the JDK 21, uh, you have to unzip it and whatever location that is, you just have to set the path. So go to go to the path and make sure that you have your path here. Now for me, since you're watching this in these days, let's say uh, the video, the moment I uploaded the video, we got build 24. Maybe once you download it, you will get a different build. Or if you're watching this after September, you will be getting a standard version of 21. So what I got is the early access one here. Okay. Now once you set this path, you can just check in your terminal which Java version you're using and you're done. So now you can practice all the code which we are doing here. So once you got the 21st version, you can head back to your terminal and you can ask for the version. So you can say Java version and you can see we got 21 here. So make sure that you have 21 so that the features will work. So here, if we talk about this main, in this, let's create a string. So we're talking about the text block here, right? So in this string, let's say string data, that's a string I have. And then if you want to have a string, of course you can put double quotes. And in this double quotes, you can write your string. You can say, my name is Naveen Reddy. So that's the string I wanted to have here. And then of course you can print it here. So you can say system.out.println data, this will work. Let's try. So what I will do is I will say Java C and you can say main.java. And then you can run this. You can say Java main. And you can see you got the output. You got my name is Naveen Reddy. But what if you want, you have a lengthy text which you want to divide into multiple lines? Example, let's say I want to write my name in the first line and then the other characters in second line. So what you can do is you can simply say enter. Okay. But this will not work. You can see we got error here. So normally what we have is let's say we want to have ready on the next line. So if you want to print something like this, what you can do is you can put a double quotes here and then you can put a plus and everything you have to put that in double quotes. And then again, you have to say plus. And here also you have to put this in double quotes. So basically this is how you achieve multi-lining in Java, right? And now if you compile and run, you can see we got the output. Now, what if you want this particular structure here? Uh, so I want something like this. I want to have my name is Naveen Reddy in this structure. Okay, so it should be on, in the similar lines or multi-lines, but then all with the same position. So what you can do is you can simply say slash n after this, right? So that you will get a new line. That's how you do, right? So slash n means new line. And if you compile and run, so this is, how you, this is what you got. Now, this is basically what you should do before Java 15, because we were not having text uh, blocks before it. Of course, you had an early access preview version uh, in 13 and 14, but in 15, you got standard. So what you can do is if you want to achieve the same thing, you can use something called a text block. Now, how do you do that? It's very simple. Instead of using double quotes once, you have to use double quotes three times. So three double quotes and you have to end with three double quotes and your job is done. And then you don't have to put any double quotes here, nothing. You can remove everything here. Even you can remove the slash end because that's not required because whatever 
structure you use it will follow the same structure okay and the only thing is you have to i think you have to put the my name on new line let's try with this first and let's see if this works no there's errors let's try let's put this my name on a new line and whatever structure you have given now that structure will work let me just clear this and run uh, compile no problem R okay run and you can see we got the output it's just that we have some extra space here that's what it is taking yeah so that's the space it is taking but then this is how it works you can use something called something like a text block and that will surely work let me try to get this on a new line let's see if i can get the same structure now it is not giving the same structure it might be some bug let try on your machine i'm not sure why we are getting this maybe i've given a lot of space here let me just write this from scratch let's see if that is the issue because I've used multiple spaces, right? Okay, now if I say my name is Naveen Reddy, save. Let's go back here, compile and run. Oh, it's, it works now. So basically, uh, before this, I uh, entered a lot of space, right? So it, it is counting the space as well. So basically, you, have, you just have to write this from scratch. Not don't edit the existing one. Okay, so this is how you use a text block. Of course, you can, if you want to write something like HTML, you can write that as well. Uh, it will show the text in HTML format only. So whatever structure you follow, it will write in, th in that way. Uh, the same thing can be done for JSON data, if you have it, or uh, SQL, or any, any other format you use. So this is basically a text block. Now, the next update is the string, okay, string template. So basically what I will do is, uh, let's go back here and let's try to use string template. So let me remove the, everything here. So normally, when, when do you we use string template? Example, let's say, if you have two integers, let's say int a is equal to 8 and int uh, b is equal to 9. And now let's say you want to add these two values and you want to print. Now, how do you want to print this? You want to print in such a way that it should print 8 plus 9 is equal to 17, right? I hope that's the correct number. So I want that output. Now, how will you get it? So what you can do is you can say system.out.println and then if you want to print that format, what you have to do is you have to say a uh, because if you put every, everything in double quotes let's see if that works so a plus b is equal to then you can write in maybe round brackets a plus b so basically the output i wanted here is 8 plus 9 is 17 but you can see we got error of if we forgot to put the double quotes let's compile this and run and you can see it is printing the uh, characters itself we don't want to print characters we want to print the numbers out of it now, how will you get the numbers? So normally what you do is you don't put the variables inside double quotes. You say A, then you want to print this plus, right? So you will say A plus because that's how you also concatenate in string. And then again, you say plus B. Of course, you need space in between. And then you have to put equal to into double quotes. And then it's very tricky. <laughs> you have to concentrate a lot when you are putting that double quotes and closing. Now, since I'm doing this for a long time, so I got used to it. But... If you don't do this often, you will get confused when to put double quotes, when not to put double quotes. And now if you try to compile this and run and you got the output, right? Now to simplify this, what's the solution we have? So basically what you can do is you can use something called a string template. So what I can do is I can create a string here. So let's say string uh, result is equal to, and I can create a string template here. Now, how do we do that? So what you do is you have to simply use a syntax where you can say, you can put double quotes there and then you have to put the variables, whatever variables you have. So you have A plus B plus and the output in the operation wise, it's A plus B. That's what you want to do, right? But if you want to make this work, you have to make sure that you use the string template. Now, how do you use a string template? Now, if you're coming from other languages, you are quite familiar with it. In Java, we got the introduction now. So what you do is you put that into curly bracket. So whatever variable you want to change or you want to get the value from the variables here, you can just say a black, I mean, you, you have to just have to put a, I mean, variable names in the curly brackets. And then instead of using the round bracket, put them in curly brackets. Is this done? Let's try. Let's try. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. I'm not even printing it, right? So what I will do is I will just remove the entire stuff from here and just print result let's see if this works compile run oh it is still not working of course right it looks similar to the earlier thing which we have done but if you want this to be treated as a string template you have to put a backslash okay not a big fan of it but let's try so if you put a backslash here okay it's not plus it's equal to let's see if this works compile oh there is an error okay now at least it detected you can see the moment you put a slash here 
it is detect it is detecting that this is a string template. So this is the right syntax. Only problem is this particular feature. Okay, this is this this is the right syntax. Okay, but this particular feature is available in the preview version. Okay, if you directly want to run this, it will it should support a standard version. Now this is still in beta testing. You can say right because users can use it. If you want to use this feature, you have to add something extra. You can see it says. Uh, you have to enable this because by default the previews are disabled because that's not not good for production code right so if you want to enable it if you want to test it what you can do is you can say enable and of course after september you don't have to do this extra stuff let's say enter okay it, it also says that if you want to use enable preview you have to mention the version number okay cool so i will just go back here and put hyphen hyphen release 21 so this is the 21 release which i'm using java 21 and enter okay there's still a problem so it says the syntax is correct the only thing you're missing is we need a template processor so you can see it says processor missing so basically if you want to use string template you need a string template processor now in java there are some inbuilt processors available one of them is str so you can use str dot so basically this is a processor so whenever you want to use a string template you just have to use a string processor. Now, this is basically a public static final field which you can use directly. You don't have to import this. Just say str dot and the expression. Now, why you are getting error here is because VS Code is not updated for this version because it's not public, right? So even if you get errors in the editor, that's completely fine. Important is you should not get the error in the output. So if you compile this now, there's no problem. Let's run this. Okay, I'm compiling it again, is it? Yeah. So compile, let's run this. And if I say enter, you can see we got error. So basically in the running as well, you have to say enable preview. Yeah. So you have to say Java enable preview again and then enter and you got the output. This is how it works. You can work with string as well. It's not that it only works with numbers. You can use string, uh, you can use the properties of an object, uh, anything you want. Now, is this helpful? Yes, is because when you talk about string interpolation, it's it created a lot of issues. Example, in SQL, you face SQL injections. This is like a safeguard to it. And now it's a part of a Java language. You don't have to use some external libraries to do this. So this is string template. Of course, you will get a proper use of this once we have the standard release, which is coming in September. But yeah, that, that's how it works. Honestly, I'm not happy with this backslash. Maybe I will get used to it after, after a few months. But yeah, at least we got a new feature. Right, so this is the these are the two new features uh, in Java 21, which which is related to string. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and uh, do subscribe for further videos. Bye bye.